Eric the Car Guy here. I should really have my head examined for doing what I'm doing. Um, it's kind of insane. And I'm doing it to save a little more than a few bucks, but if it works out, it will be an epic win. If it doesn't, an epic fail. But I'm replacing the clutches in my 2001 Odyssey automatic transmission, the 1 2 clutches, and the reason why is because. Second gear started slipping, which is quite a common problem with uh, Honda Odysseys. So normally, what you would do, and what you should do, is just put a remanufactured transmission in the vehicle and be done with it. I, on the other hand, thought, hmm, I've taken automatic transmissions apart before, why don't I put some clutches in it? Well, why don't you survey the carnage and tell me how wrong I probably am. Well, first, we have our engine supported. Uh, minus transmission here torque converter sitting here and I gotta tell you automatic transmissions should really be done in an ultra clean environment not this but here it is the inside of a Honda automatic transmission and it's something you probably won't see often uh, mainly because as you can see it looks very much like a manual transmission it is very much like a manual transmission and they use these clutch drums to activate the gears. So when Honda made their automatic transmissions, they made them like this. And it's an interesting design. It really is. Um, for the most part it holds up well, unless the clutches burn out, like what's happened here. Uh, all this down here, your accumulator, valve body, and all that stuff. And I'm sure anybody that works on automatic transmissions is looking at this. Oh, and by the way, that's the filter. This is what you have to do to get to it. Anybody that works on automatic transmissions is going to look at this and say, good luck. And they're right. They really are. Because this is, uh, this is crazy. I shouldn't even be doing this. But where I'm going is right here. This is uh, um, first gear here, second gear here, third gear here, fourth gear here. It's a four-speed transmission. So those are the clutches, respectively, that would activate and they get uh, fluid through the shaft that goes up through these drums and activates them. And I'll give you another video here in a minute or so when I get the clutch apart, but I just wanted to show you and uh, make a little video for me. Here's the case. Make a little video for me so that I could remember uh, where some of the stuff went. All right, here's the clutch drum. I'm gonna service this side of it right now. Like I said, <laughs> a very skilled group of people are out there that do this. I am not one of them. I'm just some guy trying to save a few bucks. Anyway, um, these are the clutch packs. There's a couple different components to this. There's the O-rings and the clutches themselves. So the clutches, once you get the snap ring out, pretty much just come out and I believe this is the one that's the problem this is a spring that's often referred to as a Marcel it's down in there um, and these are the clutches for second gear um, we don't really look that bad actually this might be first gear see how much I know but, like I said, I'm just going to come in here and replace these clutches and hope for the best. Because that's all I got right now. But this top, this top ring here is different. This one we're going to reuse. Um, but I'm going to replace this whole clutch set here. And I'm going to put the Marcel back down in there. And I have had my clutches soaking in transmission fluid waiting for installation so if you see me reaching around there you know why but quite simply it's a very straightforward but tedious process installing one part at a time and the way this drum works is it's got these teeth I'll show you on the old one. It's 
It's got these teeth around the outside that hook to the inside of the drum, and it's got these teeth on the inside that hook to the gear on the inside. When it's engaged and these things are all smooshed together, it works like the clutch in your car, but they're all smooshed together due to hydraulic pressure. And uh, as a result, they all lock together and move as one. Um, to unapply them, you release the, the pressure on the fluid, and that's what they do. They unapply. It's okay to have lots of juice in there. I am taking these out of the package and unwrapping them each individually which takes longer. And I'm going to make sure all these teeth line up. So that we'll slip over the gear and put it back together. I've already stated I should have my head examined for this. But I want to get this thing back together, get it in the car, see if I won. Wish me luck. It's later than you think. But, it appears I was successful. Not only drove it around the block, but it did shift through all the gears and it didn't slip. I consider it a miracle, <laughs> if I'm honest, uh, that it even happened at all. Because uh, the clutches, in my opinion, didn't look that bad. Um, time will tell. But I will say, don't try this at home, unless you know what you're doing. Some of you out there know what you're doing. Some of you out there think you might be able to try this. Good luck. <laughs> I'm sorry it didn't go through the whole process, but I mean, this took me all day and then some. You know, I, I gave you a little taste of what's inside a Honda Automatic Transmission. I hope that stands for something. But I'm Eric the Car Guy. You can always visit me at ericthecarguy.com or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. I am definitely dirty. And I suggest you do the same, so stay that way and stay dirty. See you.